Okay, so here's the scenario. You want to perform an alignment on a relatively uh, small number of sequences, uh, and the sequences aren't that long. Let's say, you know, less than 2,000 base pairs or 2,000 uh, amino acid residues. But you want to perform that uh, alignment, and you don't know where to start. So I'm going to suggest uh, for your, your early alignments that you stick with a program called Jalview. And uh, Jalview is a, a very simple program. Uh, it has some benefits over using uh, the standalone Clustal program uh, that I, I like to use as well. Uh, mostly in the in that the uh, the way the the alignment files are saved. Uh, when you use Clustal, it, it wants to write several files to. Uh, you know whatever Active Directory you have at that time, and it doesn't give you a whole lot of control uh, over whether you want to write those files or not. If you perform an alignment, they get written. Uh, Jalview, on the other hand, will perform the alignment uh, using the Clustal algorithm, uh, and then you have a little greater control about uh, when and if you want to save the alignment. So uh, you open Jalview, and so at this point, I'm going to assume that you already have uh, some sequences downloaded. Uh, in our case, I've downloaded uh, four sequences for rat alphactinins, for rat alphactinin 1, 2, 3, and 4. And we're going to perform an alignment on them using Jalview uh, and the, the Clustal algorithm as implemented through Jalview. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to File, Input Alignment, From File. And we're going to go to wherever we have uh, the sequences stored. So the sequences uh, should be stored in a FASTA file. Uh, which I have mine stored in a FASTA file called Alphac Tenons. And the first thing that I want to do uh, is I always like to look at the, uh, the sequences in, in color. So, um, so in this case, I'm going to come here and I'm going to just choose Clustal X or whatever coloring scheme you want to use. Uh, and it'll color the, the bases that are, or the residues in this case. Uh, according to how conserved they are. So uh, then I want to come up here and I want to do the alignment. So we're going to go to web service, alignment, and we can choose one of several different alignment algorithms. We have tea coffee, uh, probcons, muscle, maft, uh, there's several, but we're going to use clustal today. So, and we're just going to use the default alignment parameters. And we're just going to click uh, with defaults and it's going to start performing the alignment and whenever the alignment is complete uh, it'll come back and it'll open a new window, a new alignment window that has the sequences already aligned in it. So that's what we have here. We have them aligned now. Uh, we can set the color back to uh, Clustal X and now we can see that the sequences are pretty well conserved. So there's some differences along the way, but they're pretty well conserved across uh, the length of these sequences, with the exception of this end here. Uh, so now we just save the alignment. We click Save As. Uh, I like to save my alignments in FASTA format. So I'm going to call it alfac tenens ALN dot FASTA and click Save. So that's how you perform a simple alignment. Uh, obviously, this is a very uh, fundamental uh, task that you have to perform in bioinformatics. This was a very simple uh, alignment. They get far more involved uh, as the alignments get longer, uh, as the number of sequences, uh, you get more and more sequences. Uh, but this is where you start at. This is, uh, this is how you initially perform an alignment. Uh, if you get to where you're aligning more sequences, like way more sequences, uh, you're going to have to explore different different programs. I think that Jalview is limited to, I think it's 500 sequences. I can't remember off the top of my head, but uh, I think whenever you go above, uh, five, I think it's 500, uh, it, it will not perform the alignment here. But you can go directly to uh, Clustal and perform the alignment in there, although I wouldn't suggests that it's rather slow with large number uh, of sequences 
Uh, but there's other tools like MAFT uh, can also be used to align large numbers of sequences. So I hope this helped you out. I hope it got you started. Uh, if you liked the video, please uh, click the like button and please subscribe to the channel. I'll be uh, updating and adding more videos regularly.